This year's VanCAF took place at the Roundhouse Community Arts and Recreation Center in downtown Vancouver. So, I gotta confess, this is my very first comic genre arts festival that I've attended. And as a newbie, I gotta say that I was really impressed by the variety of people that attended and exhibited. There was everyone from all ages, races, and genders. But I'm not here just by accident. I'm here on a mission. I'm looking for Camilla. And find her I did, along with a lot of other people. So like a good fangirl, I lined up, made sure what I brought and bought was signed, and asked to talk to her when she had a moment. Welcome to the world of Vancouver-based Camila DiRico, comic book artist, pop surrealist, and creator extraordinaire. While cute and surrealism are not normally in the same frame of thought, Camila has blended the two perfectly through her artwork. Outside of their home, 
and they can show it off, and it's, it becomes part of who they are in public, which is really different. It's amazing, and it's really, really neat. I love that. We call it a wearable art, functional yeah, wearable art. art. Yeah, functional you art. You take it with you, why not? Yeah, exactly. Now, I have to say, you also do licensing and like drawing with Oh, yeah. Images. Oh, I do, I do. Yeah. I work with many companies, so New Vango, for example, Jealous Skins. I work with um, Clearly Contacts. Um, uh, very smart. Yeah. <laughs> listen to her. She knows how it's done. <laughs> yeah. Um, it takes a lot, and you really have to have like a good lawyer. His contracts are like gobbly good to me. I'm like, I don't know. Is it thing to cling on? I, I don't know. I know. Well, you have your talents. You have your strengths. You have to yeah. depend on people that have their strengths, and that's true. Yeah. I have a question. Did you license your images out to a company in Cancun by chance? I was on vacation, I went to a tour shop, and I saw these bags, and whose images did I see? Hers. What? And I'm thinking, does she know about it? It's in Cancun, your <laughs> bag, so I just... Really? Yes. You know, so you check it out, I maybe. Better. You should maybe. send it a link. I cannot believe it. I was uh -huh. like, oh, stuff is here in Cancun. <laughs> We'll check it out. We'll check it yeah, out. Yeah, definitely check it out. And that's why I call like my fans like bulldog fans because yeah. you guys like look out for me. Yeah. And um and I appreciate that because I don't have eyes all over the world. Like you guys are my eyes and ears, you know. And I know that one fan was really um so passionate about my art that they thought someone was uh, impersonating me on Facebook. Oh no. And they told Facebook, so it shut down the account. What they didn't know was it was my personal account. Oh, oops. <laughs> so Facebook shut my account down. Okay, someone's copying it's a compliment, but I know. Oh, that's that's just, that was <laughs> Oh, no. Wow. So, at least they were being vigilant. Oh, yeah, they were being vigilant, which I really appreciate. So, uh, but if anybody sees anything like that, definitely email me first. Because I do have a personal account. Um, on Tumblr too, so don't uh, don't shut that down. That's like my <laughs> uh, my escapism. It's legit. It's, it's legit. legit. It's legit. It's like where I post on my fan, like my my like Walking Dead and stuff. Oh my! my uh, and Vampire Diaries, forget it. So yeah. Well, speaking like, about um, about around the world, yeah. I know that you travel all oh, over yeah. the place. You're right. Shows all over the place. What yeah. are the farthest or you know what are your most common shows that you go to that people oh. could visit you at? So um, that's I. I I go to San Diego Comic Con every single year, so I've got a big booth at San Diego. Comic Con! <laughs> it's the beast of all conventions. That is New York Comic Con. So I'm um, working on getting confirmation for New York. They don't give out confirmation until June, but I should be okay. Knock on, like, because you're not on with. Um, so New York, um, let me see. Oh boy, I do so many conventions. I know, you're in Calgary. Yeah, I know, you're yeah, here in Calgary. Vancouver, Seattle. Um, I'm doing Pop Springs. I'm doing Long Beach Design a Con. I'm doing um, a cat con for the first time. I a convention just for cats. Wow. And I'm so down for that. I'm like such a cat lady. Even though I own a dog, I'm, like, I'm still like an old cat lady. I would love to go, but I'm allergic. Oh, that's okay. I look at the and I know they're so cute. Um, we have so many of those, and then, yeah, we then, um, I was just in like Texas last week. You're weekend. everywhere. You know? That's awesome. Okay, so if we're not so privileged to meet her in person, where do we find you online? I know Instagram. Oh. Where? Yes. Um, so you can find me on Twitter. I'm Helmet Girl on Twitter, and then on my you just go to CamilaDorigo.com, and uh, I've got Etsy, and I've got um, my big cartel, which is now a custom print shop. Yes, we've got lots of places you can find me, but CamilaDorigo.com is really the place to go. Yeah. I'm so happy to meet you finally in person. Thank yeah, you so much. Thank you. you. Check yeah. her out. It's awesome. It's bad for work. Take care. Oh, I appreciate that. <laughs> As she said, you can find her on Instagram, Etsy, and CamilaDirico.com. Well, I'm off to the comic book sunset. See you next time.